Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. This is me, a Scorpio reading for uh, November 7th and 8th, 2021. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And um, we just had a Scorpio new moon. And we have all these eclipses coming up, like two. So... You're going to experience massive changes and you could already have been experiencing changes in the sense where it's like cutting off people that you don't really relate to anymore. People that you just grew out of, things you grew out of, you know, you're just cutting all that off. That's what the Scorpio energy kind of does. Okay, so Scorpio, you versus them, November 7th and 8th, 2021, Scorpio. One more shuffle, Scorpio. You versus them for November 7th and 8th, 2021, Scorpio. So you're gaining more control of yourself and of your life. Uh, you could also be kind of um, leveling up, like bossing up, uh, having more self-discipline, you know, more uh, self-respect, you know, just gaining control of yourself. And it could be all because you started gaining your confidence back. You started to gain your power back. And by doing that, you started to open up your heart. You know, it's like because you love yourself more, you're probably starting to come into union with people who love you. Really love you. Not like fake love. Real love. Because you love yourself. But things could be very stagnant in your life right now. You could be spending a lot of time indoors. Just hanging out with yourself. Um, not really spending energy or time on other people. Emotional withdrawn. Yeah, you could be kind of isolating yourself right now. And the person that you're dealing with, um, I feel like they're balancing things out in their life uh, right now. You guys are connected spiritually. So you guys may not be connected in the physical, but you guys are connected spiritually. Even though I feel like, again, you could be kind of sitting around waiting for them. Or you're just, um, you're not giving, you know, you're not trying to go for them right now. See transformations. But in this time that you guys are spending to yourselves, both of you guys, you guys are realizing a lot. You know, because a lot of people, you know, in order to heal or to change, you have to want better for yourself. So I feel like that's kind of what both of you guys are doing. You know, because both of you guys want better for yourselves, there's better starting to come in. Um, patience and planning here. So on your person's side, you know, they could be getting more balanced in their life as they're planning their future. So they may not be trying to rush into this, rush into it with you, whether this is a new person or past person. You see, there's going to be new beginnings happening as you guys are changing. You know, you're just learning how to go with the flow and your person, you know, they're trying to resist temptations. You know, they're trying to remain balanced. You see, you're going with the flow. You're spiritually aligned. Um, you're very independent. You could be gathering a lot of stuff for yourself, like items, like shoes, clothes, cars. You know, whatever it is that you like, concerts, tickets, you know, just you're starting to get more for yourself. Um, you know, like T-shirts, merchandise, whatever it is, you know, stuff that you guys like. And on your person side, you know, they could be very tempted. You know, they could just kind of want to come in and sleep with you. But they're holding back because they're trying to, you know, they're balanced now. They're better than that. And you could be standing your ground. Both of you guys are becoming more grounded, but you see, they could be desiring a new beginning, but they have to um, go past those temptations. So this could be divinely guided um, with memories of love. You guys could both be missing each other. And right now you guys are just learning how to balance your animal instincts and your human instincts, you know, just balance um, those sides of you, you and your person. It's like now that you guys know better, you guys can do better. So... This doesn't have to be like, um, you see, but you guys could just both be working on equal give and take. And then um, this could be a destined connection because you guys communicate and it could grow. You know, some of you guys, just be careful that this person doesn't come in to talk to you and you end up pregnant. Okay, uh, just be careful. Um, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close that out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment and subscribe. This is just like a weekend short, a quickie for November 7th and 8th. Um, but alright guys, much love. Please take care of yourselves and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.